Alright, so we're on Wi-Fi now. Let's take a look at the browser. See how uh, Into Mobile is doing. Even over Wi-Fi, it seems to be uh, taking its sweet time. But uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll take a little while before the software is kind of fully optimized for the device. Uh, it's launching with OS 5.0. I can check the version number as soon as we get the page loaded up here. If uh, this is not really floating your boat, uh, Opera Mini 5 is also available. I uh, haven't tested it out on Storm 2 yet, obviously, uh, but it, it worked uh, pretty decently on, uh, on the original Storm that I've been uh, using off and on leading up to uh, this launch. Uh, so uh, be sure to give it a shot. The uh, BlackBerry browser does have a lot of hope coming for it though ever since Rim acquired uh, the company uh, Torch Mobile. They do the, or they did the Iris browser for Windows Mobile. So, so you, you, you click to zoom in. Panning is decent. Load times were a bit rough but it seems like the overall rendering and smoothness of browsing is definitely nice. Kinetic scrolling, that's that's a very that's a very nice addition for sure. So that's the browser. Uh, let's take a look at maps. Uh, there we go. You can get directions. Where I am to, let's say, uh, let's just choose a point on the map. go to Mexico. Let's just see how long it takes to get a satellite lock. Pretty close to the window, it's just over there. So, should be okay. Search. No road found near wherever I clicked. All right. So this is uh, App World in OS 5.0 on the nice big screen. It's the new BlackBerry Messenger. That, that cat is already getting getting into trouble, fresh out of the box, jeez. Uh, so, uh, AppWorld is running pretty nicely. Let's actually see if uh, the new BlackBerry Messenger is included uh, in the OS here. Blah, blah, blah. Group, yeah, it's got the full group support. Right, does it? Hmm. No, we might actually have to upgrade. Two point seven megabytes. So while that's loading, uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the other options on here. Let's see just how much memory that's gobbling up. So we've got 116.3 megabytes of app memory free, so probably uh, launches with 128. Uh, we've got 1.8 gigs of storage memory, so 2 gigs really, uh, and uh, the 16 gig memory card. So 
got a fair bit of wiggle room there. Um, it would still be nice to have uh, a little bit more application space, but uh, this is uh, definitely a, an improvement. Now let's take a look at our versions here. There we go, that is OS version 5.0.0.287. Uh, I haven't been keeping up on, on what the latest builds have been from the leaks, but uh, this is what uh, the Verizon version of the Storm 2 will be shipping with. And um, let's take a look at actually the landscape keyboard. We haven't tried that out yet. Still not perfect on this. That jump did not quite turn out right. Still, practice makes perfect. It is a, a very different way of typing uh, with a, a clicking touch screen, but uh, I think it, it's something that I'll be able to get used to in time. Uh, so far, initial impressions, it has a very smooth user interface. The hardware is nice. Feels kind of heavy. Uh, 3.2 megapixel camera is nothing to sneeze at. It will certainly do the job. And uh, I look forward to trying this out for the rest of the week. Anyway, this was Simon Sage from Into Mobile, and this is the BlackBerry Storm 2.